Welcome to Love Bite. About two weeks ago, I was on my way out to a work outing with my coworkers when my husband told me he wanted to talk to me. He said he'd met someone new who wanted to leave me. We have been together for 15 years and married for over 10 years. We have two children together. The feelings I had were a mixture of relief and immense pain, but mostly relief. We haven't been happy for at least three years, and aside from sex and the children, we have nothing in common anymore. We live two completely different and separate lives, but under the same roof. I felt relief that one of us was courageous enough to pull the plug. I can't explain why I felt the pain, though. He talked about how we were going to do this, the children, the house, etc. He said that he had found one bedroom and that he was moving out until everything was settled. I could keep the house, etc., but when he was finished, I was about an hour late for the outing. I ordered an Uber and chose to wait for it outside. I got a text from one of my coworkers, Mark, saying that I was so late that it wasn't even fashionable anymore. I took my phone to answer him, but I guess I got a text from my husband at the same time, so I texted him this, in my language. Oh, Mark, you don't know the half of it. My husband was dumping me, so that took a minute. I guess I'm free now. And a laughing emoji. Tell me more when I see you. I'm on my way. Since the beginning of the year, many of my coworkers have been splitting and getting divorced. We were saying that our department was being cursed until Mark, the most recent one to separate, still going through divorce, jokingly said it wasn't a curse, it was freedom. I was referring to that, but my husband, who got the text instead of Mark, was angry about how indifferent I was to start joking five minutes after I was told my 15-year relationship was over. I explained the curse to him. He didn't care to listen. Now he is refusing to move out and has gone back on the divorce. He doesn't speak to me and refuses to answer when I ask when he was moving out. In one of the last conversations we had, he told me that he was planning on being generous with me during the divorce, but now he's going to take me for everything I've got and held dear. I told him that he couldn't because freedom is what I held dear. He slapped me hard across the face. This is the first time he has ever done this. Later, I heard him crying in the bathroom. Should I apologize about that text? It wasn't meant for him, but still. Why does he care when he's already moving on? I need to clarify two things. Yes, my husband has someone new. He wasn't lying about it. He is 25 to 26 years old and works with. I don't know if he is sleeping with her or just fell in love with her and therefore asked for divorce before acting on his feelings. I believe it's the latter. He has rented an apartment and was going to move out after telling me. He hasn't yet. I can't move out because I want to be with my children. No, I'm not having an affair with Mark. It happened that he was the one texting me when I ran late to the work outing. But I've been talking to him about what happened, and he feels somewhat guilty. We're a bit closer now, but I'm not a cheater, and even if something happens between Mark and me, I'm waiting until divorce, or at least the separation, is public if the divorce drags out for years like my husband now seems to want. I have self-respect, and I have my boys to think about, so I would never cheat, neither physically nor emotionally. I'm filing for divorce when I've moved out with my children. And hopefully, he's going to be civil. Unfortunately, I had to be the one telling my children we're separating because he refused to share the news with me. My heart is broken, and I've been crying ever since. The look in their eyes of being let down makes me regret getting to this stage in our relationship without trying to fix it. My youngest asked me if he could do something to fix it and maybe be a better son. God, I hope they forgive us for breaking up their home. My husband is acting very weird. He's apologized profusely for hurting me, and he is trying to initiate intimacy with me, and I find it weird and so wrong. He also told me his new girl wants children, and he doesn't. He did a vasectomy after our children, so I don't know how he's going to do it. He also talked about having her move into our home if I left. I told him that he needed to think about our sons. I'm not allowing him to introduce a new person in their life so quickly and without it being a serious relationship. He asked me why I was jealous, and I told him I wasn't. I just don't want my children to experience instability, so if he's going to let her move in, the children are staying with me until their relationship is serious. He's already having problems with this new girl before they even moved in together, and he wanted her in my son's life. He said again that I was jealous, so I dropped it. 
Finally, he asked me where we went wrong. I couldn't answer him at first, but then I told him we were probably never right. You hit your wife. Maybe it took you 15 years to show your real self, but you did it in the end, and I would never have loved a man who hit his wife. So we were never right. He cried. Thank <laughs> you.